I'm in the process of making a Fate Touch video, and it's a giant mess. It's simply too long, but it made me think. Can I at least shave some of it off into separate videos that go into more detail? And I concluded, yes. In this video, we will be talking about Bane and Bless. And not only that, a math lesson for you. A simple calculation to optimize your Bless to figure out if it's more impactful than your other options or not. Welcome to Pack Tactics, where everyone has advantage. Bane. If Bless didn't exist, then Bane would be a strong pick. Bless is just better. Bless works 100% of the time, targeting three friends. Bane is usually a 60% chance of the creatures failing the save, so the average of that is 1.5. But next round, it becomes a consistent 2.5 thereafter. I thought I would mention this. Practically, I surprisingly do see a lot of Banes. But don't get me wrong. Bane is a very good spell. Bless, Concentration, Action, 30 foot range, 1 minute, that's 10 rounds. Bless up to 3 creatures of your choice. The target can roll a 1d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll or saving throw. Everyone knows this is an amazing spell. 2.5 average on attack rolls or saving throws. But how does it fare against Hex or Hunter's Mark? Overall, it depends on what your party members are doing. Those who invest into things like Crossbow Expert with Sharpshooter get a ton out of this. So optimally, if you have two or potentially three of them on your team, they will wreak havoc. And you get more out of the spell, DPR-wise. Mathematically, a dodging cleric concentrating on Bless with an optimal team beats the Warlock baseline alone. That's actually impressive with teamwork. Now, a math lesson for you. To find the immediate impact of Bless, calculate the combined average damage of the dice plus modifier of the players you're targeting with Bless. In this calculation, don't include yourself and ignore chance to hit. Then multiply by 0 0.125. From there, subtract the damage you can do with your action using a different option of similar cost, taking in percent chance to hit into account. If you're not sure what it is, then 60% is a safe guess. If the result is positive, then Bless is likely a more damaging option, even in the short term. If it's negative, it might still be a more damaging option in the long term. If it's going to take more than a round to break even, I don't think it's worth it. Big damage now is better than big damage later if you're looking at it as if the fights are usually 4 to 6 rounds. The math itself isn't 100% accurate for it. it's still missing some steps, but it's close enough to the result you want. Shoutouts to Esker for showing me this method. It's incredibly useful. Uh, that's it for them. I hope you learned something at least today. Subscribe. Bye.